Hey everyone, it's Chris Rambo 89 Productions and today I have a short tutorial for you guys on how to disable the passenger buses on GSX Pro and allow your passengers to walk freely to the terminal for themselves. Okay everyone, let's begin. The first step we want to take is ensuring that our camera is in the camera drone mode. To do this, we're going to go to our camera settings by selecting camera here, showcase, free camera and camera drone. This will allow us to freely move about the aircraft. Once we have that step completed, next, I want to select the terminal at which I would like my passengers to walk to. In this tutorial. I'll be using this blue ceiling terminal here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my overhead menu. I'm going to select GSX and this will bring up our GSX main menu. Next, I'm going to go to additional services. Once I'm in additional services, I'm going to go to customize airport positions. This will bring up our GSX customization menu here, specific to this particular gate. And in this case, we are at gate 5. Next, we want to go to disable passenger bus. Once we disable our passenger bus, our customized PAX waypoints now becomes available to us. So I'm going to select customize PAX waypoints. Here we get a key mapping of various customizations and editor functions. Entering editor, please wait. GSX will then tell you that you've entered the editor. Once I'm in here, I can use my arrow keys to move my PAX gate waypoint. Just like this. To move your PAX gate waypoint even faster, you can select shift and the arrow key as you can see so like i said earlier i'm gonna set my pax gate waypoint to this blue building here well blue ceiling building i should say and i'm gonna just tap on the arrow keys to accurately align it just like that now that i've set my pax gate i'm gonna add waypoints now to add waypoints you're going to select on your keyboard F6. To remove waypoints you're going to select F5. To cycle through waypoints you're going to press F4. All right? So F6 to add, F5 to remove, F4 to cycle. So let me show you. So I'm pressing F6 and that adds one waypoint for me. And if I select F6 again, I was going to add a second one. To remove, I'm going to press F5 and F5 again to remove. So let's create a pathway for our passengers to walk so that we can successfully deboard this aircraft. So I'm going to select F6 and I'm going to position it along this pathway here, okay? So I'm going to waypoint there I'm going to select F6 again and now I'm going to just move it a bit further to the left of that waypoint I've just created this around here I'm going to add another waypoint F6 again and now we have I think this is pretty good here. I'm going to select F6 one last time and I'm going to just line this up right here with these stairs. Okay. So remember, we can always cycle through waypoints. You don't have to remove them to get back to a previous waypoint. We can select F4 and I can edit to. I can select F4 again and I can edit 3. Just like that. 
All right, how are we looking here? Let me know in the comment section below. I think this looks pretty good. Now that we have added our waypoints, and as well as the position at which we want our passengers to arrive to, or the terminal I should say, we, we press enter to save these changes. Exiting from editing mode. Please and this wait. will exit us from the editor. Now, you would have seen that in the editor, we would have had barriers for the passengers. We can also disable that. So I'm going to disable that. Then we simply click apply. And just like that, we finish. Now I can actually deboard my aircraft. So I'm going back to the GSX menu and I'm going to request deboarding. Deboarding requested. Here we go. Passengers the boarding starting. So GSX has just prompted me that the, the boarding has started. And we should see our flight attendant show up very shortly. Uh, there she is. And if all goes well, our passengers should walk from here along this path straight to the terminal with these. And here they come. slowly but surely anyway that wraps up our video for today ladies and gents that is how we disable the passenger bus for GSX Pro for MS FS 2020 if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and let me know how I did in the comment section below have a great one guys take care enjoy stay safe Chris Rambo out